Kenmore Air is taking the lead when it comes to ensuring float planes are safe. The popular company not only rebuilds planes, but it also creates its own parts. This comes after a seaplane operated by a different company crashed into the water near Whidbey Island last year. King 5's Kristen Goodwillie is here to tell us what they're doing to ensure that this won't happen again, Kristen. Kenmore Air is in no way involved in the crash in Mutiny Bay, but it does operate a fleet of 10 DHC-3 otters. When the NTSB and FAA notified companies of the initial failures on board the Northwest Seaplane's aircraft, Kenmore Air decided to start engineering a part that would further protect these planes and the safety of passengers. The seaplane industry in the Pacific Northwest is close-knit. We've been operating the Beaver for over 50 years and been operating the Otter since the late 80s. That's why when a DHC-3 Otter operated by Northwest Seaplanes crashed into Mutiny Bay last year, killing all 10 people on board. Kenmore Air was called on to provide information about the plane, known as an epicenter of knowledge for the otter. We will build them basically from the ground up. Every time the FAA issued an airworthiness concern or directive, Kenmore Air created a fix. What in the world can't you improve on, right? When the directive came out, honing in on a missing lock ring on the horizontal stabilizer trim actuator, Eric Ellison, who's the director of maintenance for Kenmore Air and his team, knew it was serious. Well, if you were to lose the connection to the actuator, then uh, you wouldn't have control over the angle of incidence of the tailplane anymore. Not good. Not good. Kenmore Air halted manufacturing to create a redundant safety mechanism. We now have safety wire that's visible from an inspection port outside the aircraft, so you can look in and see that it's physically safety and this safety wire prevents this nut from unscrewing should something happen to the clip. The FAA approved the part and so far. Yeah, we sold 35 and we have an order for another 20 right now. According to the NTSB, there were two previous DHC-3 accidents involving the stabilizer where both planes immediately pitched down. Neither accident involved the stabilizer coming apart. We just wanted to add really a, a belt and suspenders sort of approach to make sure that that couldn't recur. Kenmore Air says there's no better replacement for the Otter. They are hands down down the best uh, bush plane that was ever created. So they'll continue to create parts. We want to be able to make sure that we are providing the safest platform possible. The NTSB's final report will be released by the end of the year. That will outline a cause and any fixes or changes that need to be made to this type of seaplane. In the studio, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.